citizens are asked to report persons matching. The champion's quarter. The slaughterhouse opens its doors to spectators and contestants during the night's banquets. Where blood flows and the crowds roar. Here, man and monster bet their lives to entertain the masses. This is not the hour for challengers, I'm afraid. Come back later when the moon is high and the city's festivities are in full swing. A pit of violence and aggression. What do you think you're playing at, selling that poison? Make me stronger? <clears throat> it almost killed me. I did warn you that the use of my concoctions is not without risk. Not without risk? You're a crook and a charlatan, you hear me? I'm done with this place. And lately, it's only been getting worse. Seems there. Did you really sell Palace poison to that man? Of course not. It was a fortifying savior. brew with centuries of alchemic hair, theory behind it. Sadly, it appeared to disagree Citizens with that gentleman's liver, or perhaps spleen. You're an alchemist, officer. right? Don't you people claim to be able to turn lead into gold or something? I don't think I buy it. <sighs> that is an unfortunate stereotype, all too common. Alchemists are natural philosophers dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of our physical and spiritual worlds. The search for ultimate truth is the core of our ancient art. The transmutation of base metals into gold, that is a mere byproduct of our inquiries. Mysteries of the physical and spiritual worlds? The ultimate truth? Sounds ambitious. It is. We perform experiments, observe phenomena, and analyze ancient records. Then we carefully record the results for future generations. It is painstaking work. Unfortunately, it is also capital-intensive. The experiments I perform are very expensive. Right. That explains the snake oil racket you have going on here. This location certainly has proven beneficial to my research. They are desperate for anything that might give them an edge. Untested? Does that mean you're using those poor dupes as test subjects for your latest concoctions? Mm. They all sign the waivers. Perhaps you'd care to join my project. Oh, you'd make a fine test subject. I have made a new secret potion that needs testing, but all of my regulars have refused to volunteer. You see, I've tried mixing two kinds of highly potent poisons. My theory is two wrongs will make a right, and the blend will have a beneficial effect. All right, I'm game. It will lift your spirits, invigorate your soul, and protect you from hexes and ailments. If you are the kind of person who participates in slaughterhouse tournaments, then this potion will be perfect. So I'm supposed to drink it during a battle? Yes, that would be the perfect time. And afterwards, don't forget to come back and tell me how wonderful it is. Please note that my potions are provided without warranty. This Public is Lonnie. service announcement She's from Monocula. Monsters are active during the day, so watch out.
Supplies, you'd better stock up here. You're not gonna find any shops where you What will you have? Gear won't do you much good out in the desert. Might as well use it now. Look at the things that may save you this. the giant's hand. The entrance to the ruins should be around there somewhere. Solid. 
was you. I heard that a new recruit had been shaking things up. Time to let loose, Lightning. God, it's been ages since I've had some fun. Let's make this worth it. Fang, there's one thing I need to know. Why would you want to summon the souls of the dead? What exactly are you planning on doing with the Clavis? Me? I'm not the one who wants the damn thing. I wouldn't even know what to do with it. It's Vanille who needs it. For some reason, when we woke up from the crystal, she picked up some strange new ability. Now she hears the voices of the dead. She says she can pick up on all the feelings of those souls that are trapped in the chaos. According to her, it's like listening to a thousand different voices all crying out at once. And she's the only one who can hear them. Or something. And that power is exactly why the Order became interested in her. If Vanille gets that Holy Clevis, and she uses it, she should be able to call all those souls to her. So the Order plans to gather all the souls of the dead? Why? To save them? Come on, it's me you're talking to. No need to play stupid. You ought to know. You're here under their orders, aren't you? High and mighty savior. I wouldn't assume anything if I were you. I'm not here for the Order. It seems like you don't see eye to eye with them, though. Care to share? <laughs> That's a story for later. Come on, we're wasting time we don't have. If the Secutors snatch up the Clavis first, I'd never forgive myself. There's a place I want to check out first. A door. It's got something good behind it. Or I'm not a bandit. I'm thinking that maybe a savior can get it open. Let's go see what you can do. I'll let you know when we're there. inside like a fool. There's nowhere to rest in the room if you get hurt. Sure. Too. You had better. Why else do you think I let a slacker like you into my prestigious gang of ne'er do wells? Because I use my head. Like noticing that if we open up all those doors, we're inviting the order to walk right in, too. Ugh, and most likely will. Those secutors live just to get in my way, I swear. Annoying little. Remember the details of each door. This kind here is what we call a time door. You've got to be careful around these things. It'll open on its own, or close with you inside, all based on the time of day. Even that route that we just came along will be sealed off at a different time of day. You could end up having to take the long way around, or get sealed in the ruins. records. Vanille and Fang woke up from their crystal stasis about 13 years ago. It appears they were both being held at the Order's main cathedral in Luxarian. But according to the records, Fang fled the Order shortly after. I'm getting strange. Fang, you got this? May you find your way home. If you destroy the statue, you may find treasure, or find yourself needing in skeletons. If you take them on without any sort of plan, you may find yourself in trouble. Proceed carefully. I've been trying to gather what information I can on these ruins, but it's no good. There are no records left from the time they were built. We don't even... You can't even date them with all your technology? Chaos has distorted both space and time. We can no longer trust our scientific measurements to be accurate. 
I thought it might help you find the clavis if I could find out more about who built these ruins and why. But it looks like that's simply not possible. It's hard to believe that up until 13 years ago, Vanille and I were stuck in that crystal pillar. It was a long sleep. Well, hell, it's been hundreds of years since the days we fought together, as we see. And before we met, I was stuck in another damn crystal. I've been asleep more than a thousand years of my life. I did the math. Technically, I think that makes me the oldest hag on the planet. Not that I'll ever act my age. Wouldn't be much fun.
I challenge you. strange devices all over the ruins. Nothing we've done has ever made them work, but why don't you try your savior magic? You don't have to tell me twice. I can feel it from here. You think it's the power of the clavis? It seems likely. The reason that you can feel anything light is because the clavis reacts to the savior. So, it wants me to come in and say hi. I get it. But this door doesn't seem to agree. Yes. It's protected by a particularly nasty seal. My analyses suggest that the key to undoing this seal is hidden in the murals. There are three murals within this ruin which describe the true story of the gods. Only one who has seen them with their own eyes and has understood the truth of the gods will be able to pass through that great gate. Three murals, huh? Somehow I don't think a little art appreciation will be all I need to get that clavis. Well, the good news is, I know where the murals are. To see them all, you'll have to visit three galleries that are located elsewhere in the ruins. Hmm. <sighs> Of course they are. been completely flummoxed by those cursed tablets. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like someone who might be of some use has finally shown up. 
I was beginning to think that the world might end before that would happen. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, stranger. I am an exploratory rover bot called Bhakti. What is this? An AI? Why are you here? Oh, there are so many things I could tell you, and I would love to, but I'm afraid I'm most dreadfully low on fuel. And so I must ask you to consider my most unworthy plea before any explanations can be given. I think I know what you're gonna say. Yes, I could tell you were intelligent. You expect me to head out into this huge desert and hope I'll strike oil. Oil? I am a precision instrument near the sundry shop. In the bandit settlement, beside the adamantis skeleton, somewhere at the base of that lofty and once great lighthouse. Those are the only locations I have detected so far. I can have a look. Ah, a worthy question. I am depending on your assistance. There are more of you? Yes, and I expect my comrades are most eagerly awaiting me. And now you should feel an emotional responsibility to help me. Should you not? I'm so glad that we could bond like this. That is some programming you have. Okay, you just need one more inertia of fuel for Bhakti. It seems that robots like that Bhakti were used by the bandits to help map out the ruins once. I'm surprised that any of the bots are still functioning. It certainly looked its age, but it carried on a conversation fine enough. Someone did a good job. care if we want to get better yes but the humans these days do not age nor die compared to a robot that will never get better if it breaks down yours is a life of infinite chances well now you have a chance of your own so what about those friends of yours who need saving they are just this way for your long wait. You must have been quite troubled by being trapped in here for such a long time. Do not worry. You are free now to leave. There does not appear to be a response. Do you suppose they are sleeping? Are your friends out of fuel too? If they're like you, then they'll just need their tanks filled to be up and running again. I'm afraid they would have little use for such fuel. They are humans after all. What did you say? We've been trapped for some time now. There's no food or water left. It looks like this is the end for us at last. If you're reading this, I hope you'll respect the wishes of the dead. Take our remains and give us a decent burial. Oh, and one other thing. I imagine you found a robot on the other side of this wall. If it stopped working, please bury it together with us. If it's still moving though, please fix it up and find it a new home. We may look like fools for worrying about an old robot in our last moments. But Bhakti is not just a robot. He has always been our greatest ally, companion, and friend. My goodness. Everyone looks quite different than I seem to recall. Why have you become so thin? These people. 
My friends, they do not seem to be able to start up. If they have broken down, I will need to obtain new parts and repair them. Bhakti, you can't repair a human like that. They're just gone. When humans die, they never wake up again. Never start up again. But we are finally reunited after so long. I rationed my fuel so carefully, all in an effort to witness the end of the world together with them, my dear friends. I had no idea that they needed constant refueling. They must have thought that I had abandoned them here. I don't think they did. They would have known that you were doing everything you could to save them. I thank you. Humans are a kind species. Farewell, my friends. Bhakti, you were the best friend these people could have hoped for. The light of these souls. They're the proof of how grateful your friends were. Just sleeping away our days in that pillar. Hardly. We could feel what was going on in the world. Though it all seemed like some sort of hazy dream. We saw you disappear. We also saw your sister head out on her journey. Eventually, we even got to see the world fall apart. And all time stop. You couldn't imagine how we felt while we just watched as the world slowly crumbled apart. Unable to do a damn thing.
This is lightning. She's new. it up.
You got them, didn't you? The soul fragments for Dodge? You're the one who gave Saz the coffer. You started this wild goose chase. Wild goose chase? Saz was suffering. I felt sorry for him. You should know how he feels, wanting to be reunited with the last bit of family he has. Right, Lightning? Right. Because I lost Sarah, huh? Exactly. Though it's not the same thing. I'm afraid that a coffer of souls won't save Sarah. Too bad. You'll just have to figure out how to save her for yourself, huh? That's what I'm planning to do. I don't need anyone's help. Especially not yours. Don't you think the last of something seems a bit more special? Not necessarily. Hmm. You just don't get it. No, you really don't. But thanks anyway. Wait, wait, wait. This is your last chance. Are you sure you want to miss out on your chance to hear the last researcher? Last researcher? I've seen plenty of researchers. No, no, I research lasts. Everything has to end sometime, right? Even us ageless humans, we still fall prey to illness and injury. Eventually, there will be a last of us, too. Unless the world ends first. But what do you want from me? I've spent this endless life of mine researching the ends of all the many things in our world. And now, I'm researching the last of the monsters. So you're studying how they die? No, no. That'd be their last moments. I meant the last specimen of a species of monsters. I don't follow. You see, you reduce the number of specimens in a species until they're on the very verge of extinction. Then, what will happen to the last individual? One lone survivor in the face of extinction. It turns out the last individual receives the collective strength of its species and it transforms. Its form is enveloped in a sickly light, and it becomes far stronger than is normal for an individual of its kind. I've come to call this the Last One Syndrome. I want to drive every last species of monster to the brink of extinction and study their survivors. I don't know whether to salute you or slap you. The world is ending anyway, right? Everything is going to die sooner or later, so what's wrong with speeding things up? No need to feel bad. Get out there and start killing. Are you talking to me? 
I need someone to start exterminating monsters fast, so I can study as many last ones as possible. You're obviously strong enough for the task, so get to it! It's impossible. All the time in the world would not be enough to hunt a species into extinction. Yes, you're right. You'd have to be able to live through this life countless times to do such a thing. Why ask if you know it's impossible? Like I said, the world is ending anyway. I knew it was too much to hope for. But somehow when I saw you, I thought you might actually be capable of it. Do you even listen to yourself? Fine. Since you asked, I guess I can at least try. I know you'll be able to do it. Reminds me of the old days, fighting together.
do you think you're doing blundering around here and interrupting my precious sleep? Just looking for a story. Whatever dreams I had have been lost under the sands. Then why stay? I owe it to my wife. She's gone now, but the one thing she valued more than her own life is still out there in that desert. If I could just get it back, I'd be gone from here and never look back. What could be so important? Her arithmometer. Back when she was alive, back when we still had our shop, my wife was in charge of keeping the books. I never was good at numbers. But my wife, Monica, she lived by that arithmometer. Next month will be the one for us. All with the most joyous smile you've ever seen. And then one day those monsters stole my treasure away from me. Everything ended. My business. My life. I lost Monica. And her smile. I see. I'm sorry. Do you really think you'll be able to move on if you find your wife's memento, though? Sure as the desert's dry. If I could just find that arithmometer for her, I'd be done with this place in a heartbeat. Light, do you think that's the arithmometer Monica left by? See, told you. Why don't you go ahead and give it to him? my wife's I'd know it anywhere you've got your wife's memento back so now you can leave the desert anytime you want like I've got any place else to go anyway it would have been better if you just never found it I want to say goodbye to the desert where my wife died but I don't want to leave the desert where she lived don't you see <laughs> now what am I supposed to do that's up to you and if you can't figure it out yourself, well, then why don't you just think about what your wife would have wanted for you? What Monica would have wanted. She always wanted me to make it out here as a merchant. She wanted to help me achieve my dream of striking it rich. I guess you have your answer. If you're going back into business, how about I be your first customer? Yeah. I'd like that. After all, I owe you. You brought our dream back to life. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Sandbird told me what you've been up to. You've been busy, haven't you? But is it true? Is old Ramon open for business again? All I did was help him get back onto his feet. Helping him at all is more than enough. The world's a pretty hard place to live in these days. You don't see a lot of people helping each other out. <sighs> if there were more good eggs like you around, maybe this place wouldn't have ended up the ghost town that it is. Someone's gotta be the first to start. Why not you? Why? Because I'm a ruthless, greedy salesman. Are you sure? For someone who claims to be a ruthless salesman, you look pretty happy to hear about your rival's return. Th that's ridiculous. He'll be out of business again in a week, I'll bet. If he does manage to cut it somehow, a competitor might help me stay on my toes. I'll say this, my wares and my service will both be better than ever. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Don't let me down now.
She has rose-colored hair and is carrying an enormous weapon. Citizens are asked this to report her to matching this description. Prepare this for gourmands that serve up dishes from How every culture. Conducting a search for the if the world's ending anyway, I suppose you might as well enjoy your last meal. Hair and is carrying an enormous Good morning. Weapon. The citizens are now at 11 a.m. The Recreation and Leisure Committee would like to welcome officer. all new visitors to the city. The Banquet of the Lord in the Glen Quarter is now open and serving brunch. Be sure to drop by and enjoy this Didn't. Nothing happened. Bad or good. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, it was kind of refreshing, but the effect was pretty subtle. Refreshing? That would suggest a positive influence on your state of mind. I still believe my theory is sound. You want me to test it again? Of course I do. No, science must plow forward through stormy seas. No. There. My new and improved concoction, Nectar Mark II. Use it in your next battle and... from a chocobo girl yeah I'm one of the guides what is it something Oh, thanks a lot. We've got the finest stock Citizens 
officers are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest security officer. Of course the chaos scares me. There's nothing I can do about it. you're pretty upset what good would that do you can't teach me how to sing again can you you forgot how to sing my voice is just gone i can't hold a note anymore are you sure you're not sick or something my heart may be the cruel bastard he left me and you think he took your voice with him you don't understand what it is to perform do you he's not just my lover he's written all my best hits we were an unbeatable partnership but then he up and left, leaving nothing but his songs behind. I tried to sing them, but I'm so angry at him, I just can't get the words out. So you're not heartbroken, just angry? I don't expect you to understand. You're right about that. Wait a second. Would you be willing to go and find him for me? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because there's no danger he'd fall for you and forget about me. Don't hate me if he does fall for me. <laughs> if he does, I'll hunt you down, tear your hair out, and claw your eyes. Anyway, his name is Birdie. That's really not much of a lead. What prompted you to take on such a strange job? I don't know. I think this city must be... Hey, why are you running from me? I, I don't know any Olga. Uh, I mean... It doesn't take a genius to figure out you know her. Do you know anything else about her? Like, where her missing lover is? Oh, I can't keep this secret for any longer. I just can't. I have to confess it to someone, and it might as well be you. I'm her lost lover. Is this your idea of a joke? No, it's true, I swear. My name is Birdie. You know, the songwriter? I promised her my undying love, but now I don't dare face her. I unwittingly lost the 354th song I wrote for her. Wait a minute. Did you say 354? That's a lot of songs. Well, you know, I had a few centuries. You didn't run out of ideas? Ideas come easy. I picture my Olga, and the melodies just come to me fully formed, as if from another world. Huh. Better to be lucky than good, I guess. But a dark cloud has blotted out the sun of our radiant love. In the form of a frightful monster that suddenly attacked me and stole that song away. Which, incidentally, brings me to the favor I want to ask. Why don't you spell it out for me? Well, I was thinking that you could get my music back. I'd give you a reward. Please? You and Olga. Neither of you mind asking strangers for favors, do you? Supply rail that runs 
Oh, you colored, must be the new rep. Now, let's see if you can sell. Weapon. You can sell to Citizens me or Baird. All the seeds end up being to the nearest security oh. officer. You brought me some seeds. A deal's a deal. What an exotic style. Don't plan on losing. Let's just get it back to him, all right? Come on. Sure thing. Birdie should be in the Reveler's quarter. My guess is he's waiting somewhere around the fountain there. I can finally return to Olga and present her with my new song. Citizens are asked to report persons matching this description to the nearest security officer. Where have you been all this time? Don't you realize that people were actually worried? Olga, my love, be still my beating heart. Oh, 
it was very clever of me to ask for your help. Thank you for bringing Birdie back safe and sound. We artists are cursed with sensitive souls and our hearts are easily broken. So that's how you treat sensitive souls, huh? If you're talking about the way I speak to Birdie, everything I say comes from love. In any case, I owe you a favor. Olga shall sing for you. It's your favorite song, or so I'm told. How would you know my favorite song? It's not a bad song, it has its moments. But it doesn't compare to the sublime melodies that Birdie writes. Is he really as good as you say he is? Absolutely. Of course, I'd never tell him that. His head is already big enough as it is. Now I have a song to sing for an audience of one. This is a very, very rare treat, you know. Um, thanks, but tell me one thing. How do you know my favorite song? Who did you talk to to find out? A young girl called herself Lumina. Now, Evans, if you would. Thank you. 